Hello, everybody. Zoe here from Learning Boosters, number one Amazon best-selling author of Learning Boosters for Children with Learning Difficulties. You can find my other book, Lost in Australia, which is self-published on www.learningboosters.com.au. I also have courses. And today I'm going to chat with you about times tables. Now, let's face it. When we think about times tables, we just go, oh, yuck, I hate times tables. Most children have to think really hard to get the answers. And I remember how long it took me when I was back at school to learn the answers to the times tables. But we just got on with it, didn't we? We didn't actually, you know, question system or we just learned those times tables. And it was by rote back then. And I actually found them hard to remember. And that's probably the time really started when I started having that hate relationship with maths. And that's an attitude that actually stuck with me for quite a few years. So it's frustrating to have to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again so we can just learn to remember it and so that it becomes embedded in the long-term memory. That is so boring. Mesmerising the times tables, or memorising, I should say, the times tables, is all about knowledge, knowing the answers. And whilst it's great that we have to learn that knowledge, the approach I'm about to help to go run through with you about mesmerising multiplication will help multiplication become a skill rather than just repeating a boringness of one times one equals one, that sort of thing. So I get a lot of parents saying, why learn times tables in the first place? I mean, you know, how are they going to help later on? And most kids have got a calculator on their phone these days. So why bother? I get these kinds of questions all the time from the students I work with, but also from the parents that I work with. So I'd like to give you a couple of reasons about why it's important to learn these times tables. So I'll give you a few scenarios. When we work out the days of the week, the weeks of the months, the months of the years, we multiply it. Times tables are a building block. So by learning the multiplication, you provide yourself with those essential learning blocks to do other maths problems, like fractions, percentage, algebra, all those really important mathematical things to be learning. So learning your times tables and understanding the foundations helps in a lot of ways at even basic everyday living, like doubling a recipe, like working out a discounted price on an item. So it might say 10%. How do we work that out? Working out the time of arrival to somewhere. So if your friend goes, oh, you know, meet me such and such at the movies, how, when do you have to leave home? So times tables is also about fame foundations for so much other mathematics. Long division. Long multiplication. Fractions, as I said before. Algebra. So... Putting all these things into my mind, I, it led me to thinking, how can I help my students to multiply without having to mesmerise, memorise the 144 multiplication facts that it takes? So the method I'd like to share with you will help your child to retain this information in an easy and fun way. I'm just going to share my screen because the reason I want to use my whiteboard is to actually show you some of the patterns. So there are patterns throughout the times tables and these patterns help the brain translate the information really easily, which helps the brain to retain the information. So let's look at the patterns. So let's look at the two times table. We've got zero, two, four, six, eight, and then we've got 10, Whoop, 12, excuse my writing, 14, 16, 
and so on. Let's look at the patterns in this. So as you can see on the left hand side here, we've got 02468. And then here, looking on the right hand side, we've got, if we look at that right hand number, we've got 0, 2, 4, 6. And on the left hand side, we've got 1, 1, 1, 1. And then there'll be another 1 and then 2. Really easy patterns for kids to learn and to retain rather than one times two equals two, two times two equals four. Now, remember that this that we're looking at right now is only the beginning to learning the times tables. But if we give the kids a really easy win, they're going to want to do more of it. So that's the two times table. I'm just going to get rid of all of this because I want to show you the pattern for the six times table. So again, we've got zero, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 32. Now hang on, there's a pattern happening here. 30, Sorry, not 32. What am I saying? Just excuse me for a sec. Let me just rub that out. 36. Just correct that. So 36. Uh, so that's going to be 42, isn't it? So get rid of that. And go back into here. So that will be 42 and so on. Let's look at the numbers on the right, the left-hand side. Obviously, we've got zeros through here, but then we've got one, one, two, three, three, four, and then it'll be four, and then it'll be five, and so on. So that's the numbers on the left-hand side. Let's look at the numbers on the right-hand side. So it's going to be zero, six, two, eight, four. And look at the pattern. Zero, six, two, eight, and so on. And this, of course, will be 54. So we get the four again. So there's really only two patterns that your child needs to learn to learn the six times table. One of them is that left-hand side, which is zero, one, one, two, three, three, four, four, five, and so on. And then the pattern on the right hand side is six, two, eight, four, zero. And then it gets repeated six, two, eight, four. Yeah, six, two, eight, four, zero, six, two, eight, four. Sorry, I had a bit of a, a brain thing there. Zero, so this will be 60 here. There's only two patterns they need to know for the whole of their six times tables. 62840, and then it gets repeated. Just going to stop sharing my screen for a sec. So you can see how easy it is for kids to get an easy, quick win from learning their times tables just through these very simple patterns. So don't let your kids get bogged down on learning the one times two or the six times two equals 12 and that's sort of what I call busy work. And don't let your ki kids become reliant on a calculator later because this means that they deserve, they, they develop weak estimating skills, which will then pass on into lots of other areas of their life and not just in maths. So I hope this is giving you a bit of an insight into the new course that I've developed called Cool Times Tables for Kids. It can be found at www.learningboosters.com.au under courses. Go have a look at it. Um, it's available there for a launch price. You can also get it with some tutoring as well. So there's two offers there. One is the course on its own and the other is the course with two tutoring sessions with me. 
And as you can see, it's so simple, so easy. I've used it with heaps of my kids to test it. It works brilliantly. The kids can recall their times tables really quickly. And it's a fun, non-boring, non-stressful way for kids to learn times tables. Please go and have a look at it at www.learningboosters.com.au under courses. And I will catch up with you next month. See you then. Bye.